Welcome to the Quick Stop F1 podcast. My name is Nyasha and you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. We appreciate that. Joining me as ever is my Spanish. No, you're not Spanish. You're Puerto Rican who speaks Spanish, compadre. Man like producer Mario. Your cousin is on pole position. Hola, hola Nyasha, hola a todos. Yo solo voy a hablar español esta vez. Checo mi primo, let's go. Back to back, espalda, espalda. Ok, no se olviden, no se olviden, no se olviden. Espalda, espalda. Checo, primo, call me, primo. Come on, come on. Take me to the race. I'm just saying, vamos por una carrera, vamos por una carrera y ya. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah? How are you? How are you? Oh, yo me siento súper bien. ¿Cómo estás tú? ¿Cómo estás tú? Uh, muy bien, muy bien. Yes, yes. My cousin will bring both of us and Tandy. I'm sure she knows she knows some Spanish. I'm sure. Oh, my God. I'm actually doing Spanish on Duolingo. Hold on. Um, um, soy un hombre. <laughs> that, okay. that's, that is, that is, that's all they teach you for like the first I'm, four weeks I'm just like I'm just saying I'm, I'm a boy I'm a man in like different ways for like four weeks now I'm just saying like maybe you skip that one since I can just observe that yeah well but that. I feel like they teach yeah. I don't know what I feel like, what else um um Oh my god! I need to get back on it. I've, I, I, you know what? Because I thought when you say when you say you're on Duolingo learning Spanish, you mean that at some point in your life you opened Duolingo I was on it and no, like did two. I was lessons. doing it for like two weeks straight because I was like, I wanted to go to Mexico Grand Prix, and then I was like, I need it. I need to know. I need to know Spanish. And then I and then now we're doing. Got a producer that speaks Spanish yeah, instead because yeah. said, man, that's so much so easier. easier. It'll just translate I don't, for I don't me. need to do that. No, and also I think we're gonna do Austin and and Vegas. So. Um, there you go. That we there do, you know, so stay, tuned. stay tuned. There's going to be awesome content coming out of that. So, welcome. <laughs> I forgot where we were. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. Look, if you're watching, whether you're Spanish, English speaking, Italian speaking, wherever you are yes, in sir. the world, si, <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. No, oh. um, make sure you're liking and subscribing to this video and channel and if you're listening on a podcast platform if you're on spotify give us a five star review we're trying to get to 500 we're on like 370 something so please every single one of those helps get us to more people we've increased our podcast listenership so much uh, over the back in the last season we want to increase it some more to get this out to everyone so yeah, do that. Leave a review as well on Apple Podcasts. They all help. You don't understand. Every time you do that, it gets us to more people and helps us. So thank you, Mario. Look, let me let me say let me say let, let me say this. I got my mother on Spotify just to drop those five stars. So if I did that successfully, you guys can drop five stars real easy. That is true. Look, that is commitment, and we thank you, Mario. And that's why you are the producer, producing <laughs> ratings and reviews. Um, so look, we are here to do the quick quality review is the nominal name that I'm giving to this section or this podcast. We will figure that out later. But Mario, let's do it in chronological order and start yes, from sir. Q3 in what was actually a bit of an interesting session at the circuit in Saudi Arabia in Jeddah. Jeddah Corniche Circuit is called, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so 27 turns, second most from the circuit. They only say that 13 times during qualifying. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair. Uh, and they only mentioned that it's the quickest racetrack in the world uh, for F1. Uh, How do you know that, Nyasha? Uh, How would you know man, that? Uh, <laughs> they, those stat packs have been um, well read by the commentators. But um, we're looking at Q3. And I guess a big, big, big headline from Q3 is Lando Norris uh, qualifying in 19th after hitting the wall on his first run, I believe, uh, in Q1. Not great for Lando, and then subsequently out qualified by Oscar Piastri. So, um, I guess what are your thoughts on on Lando and McLaren? Because it looks like they had a good car, but obviously he wasn't able to produce, and it, and it looks like it was all his fault. 
my thoughts are <laughs> we talked about last podcast that when you say something when you're gonna say some critique you should do a sandwich and then you should do good shit bad, sandwich good. this is this is the inverse for lando my guy because like not only does his car not not his car i'm sorry not only does he seemingly make a mistake but then oscar it oh. Oscar did so well. Yeah. Like, there's no way around saying it. Like, uh, getting eighth is is a very good qualifying result for just a second race. Um, I feel bad for him. I said it last time. Said it this time. I feel bad for him. You feel bad for Lando? <laughs> I do. Not this time because, you, you know, clearly he had the car for mm. it. But, you know, you, you – Oscar just being, eight, pr- being in eighth proves that he could have done better. And the fact that not only did he not do better, but he also messed up is is rough. Is rough. It is. It is rough. It is very, very, very rough. I mean, we're looking at a situation here where obviously Lando is now the bona fide leader of that team. Uh, he is someone that they're obviously looking to. He's not the junior anymore. You know, when Science was there and when Ricardo was there, he was clearly like the junior in that team until obviously it kind of turned out that Ricardo wasn't on piss. So I think it's one of those where he's probably going to be kicking himself. But I guess a word on Oscar Piastri. What a performance from Oscar sticking that in eighth place really really good like he was he was in the zone like he's been doing pretty he did pretty well throughout most sessions um we didn't hear much about his car having any issues yeah. so he just seemed confident it seemed like he he knew that he had a good car with him and man like it's not you know it's not top three or anything but eighth second race in f1 uh all the pressure that he has uh, i'm just gonna say media is gonna have a field day if you know, we end up with Oscar having or scoring the first points in the season. Like if Lando doesn't score and Oscar scores, the media is going to take that little tidbit and run. With it. Well, I mean, it's funny because they took the whole fact that he was struggling in Bahrain and were like, is he under pressure already? And I think it's an it's an incredible way for him to like hit back at all of that. And look, I think it's quite lucky that. Not lucky, but it's good for him that it's a race where he raced in F2. He won in F2 in the feature race. Um, So it wasn't his first time there, but your first time there in an F1 car and a struggling team. And for him to hook it up around it, like Lando showed, you know, it's not easy to hook a car up around there. And, 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 you know, not only like all the all the pressure that's been said about about oscar but add the pressure of literally last race yeah exactly like it wasn't his fault because it was the car and everything yeah. but it literally your first race you didn't you get you didn't even get the chance to show much. yeah so so coming from all of that and and putting in an eighth really really great for him. no really good result really good result for uh for oscar really happy for him but it looks like we won't be making it another video about him in the news with you tomorrow but <laughs> but um <laughs> Let's talk about the Alpha Tauris. So Nick DeVries qualifying uh, in 18th, out-qualified Yuki Tsunoda, out-qualified by Yuki Tsunoda as well. As well, again, the wine has already got to me. I've had one sip. Um, So um, (laughs) one sip, show the bottle, Niasha. Don't say one sip, show the bottle, bro. I'll show you the bottle. The bottle's there. One sip from the recent... And and that's... uh, Oh, that's... no, that doesn't. The math, the no. math doesn't add up right here, for, my guy. For those who are listening on the podcast, can I see you pour it back just to see? That is <laughs> so uncouth. <laughs> I would never, I would never pour my own wine back into the bottle. That is honestly, that is. I might as well have just got a box of wine and started drinking that out of the bottle. Um, so look, you've been very invested in the Alpha Tauris. Honestly, I don't know why, but you are. Um, so <laughs> I, love I love you. Okay, that's cool. That you know what, man. I really want to make some Yuki merch. I'm not going to lie to you. I really want to make some. We should call. We should. We should tweet at him and make it together. We should. 
I don't think his what an alliance that, that would be, be. Incredible. what an alliance it that would be, be incredible I feel like he's uh, given that he literally drives for a fashion brand I doubt that that would go in I'm saying it wouldn't go very far no because he, they want him to wear Alpha Tauri clothes and probably not knock off cheap he doesn't have to wear the merch he can be a consultant consultant mm. although you don't need no consulting for merch I don't I don't I'm pretty good at this shit nah. um, but yeah, <laughs> but uh, you have um You've got some quotes from Franz Tost, who doesn't seem to be happy with his team. And obviously, given where they are on the grid right now, they look to be the second slowest team. Second? Yeah. They're the yeah second slowest team. So, or eighth fastest, however way you want to put Or ninth fastest, however way you want to put yeah. it. Um, what are the quotes that you've got from Franz Tost about the team? Look, I was, I was completely... Uh, I didn't know about his comments before the press conference. So, he, like... In the press conference, they talked about this, so I looked it up. And he was quoted saying that AlphaTauri is performing this badly because of the engineers. Like, man said, literally, problem, engineers. And that that feels like a strong quote. And then when he addressed it in the press conference, um, it wasn't some Lewis Hamilton walking it back type yeah. deal. It was, uh, yeah, but it's, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But in the, in the press conference, he literally says, if the, car, if the drivers had a car with the pace, then they would be doing well. He said that the drivers are preparing and are, and are doing everything that they can. Um, when they were asking him about, uh, is Bahrain uh, consistent with what you thought it would be, like with your performance? Yeah. He said, yeah, it is. So, you know, maybe he walked back technically the the blaming the engineers, but everything he says is directly related to if it's not the drivers and it's not him and it's the car doesn't have the pace, the car doesn't have the pace, then, then you know, he's still blaming the same people. Oh, 100%. Just indirectly. And I think he's actually come out and said uh, during testing, he was saying um, that he was so happy to have Nick there because Nick was giving them the fire feedback and the engineers mm -hmm. weren't having it. And he was like, well, the car's been sh1t for um for this long so you know you need to listen to the drivers so clearly clearly france tost is not happy with the team that it's got but then also like you're in charge of them brother like literally like, i don't i don't they, it's not like you won them in like a competition or they were you've just joined you've been there for a while now i don't know why you're getting at these guys so honestly uh i just i find that hilarious from france i mean a bad workman always blames his tools and uh, this guy is literally blaming a lot of tools right now when he is in charge of those said tools. So he he didn't say anything about him. Let me no, tell you. no, <laughs> he he, he's doing a great job. <laughs> but, but everyone underneath me is awful. Um, it sounds like some dictator shit. I'm not gonna lie. He, he mentioned Mar he literally said like uh, because obviously the media asked him about. Like Marco's comments, we talked about it uh, last podcast. Marco said, "You know, you're you're not doing well financially, and you're not doing well in performance." He addressed it, and he still say, "Like, if we had the car, it's wish we had the car, man. Wish we had that car." I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what you want to. You literally buy all of your parts from the best team on the grid. I don't understand. You guys should be literally third or fourth fastest i don't understand like it doesn't make it does not how are you a b team and you're literally like the second slowest team on the grid it doesn't make sense but anyway it doesn't make sense but anyway yeah. look well done to yuki Tsunoda for out qualifying and uh, nick de Vries again only positive only positive with alpha Tari this weekend oh man as long as yuki keeps putting him in the dirt like that is all Preach. like honestly Preach. that is warming yes, my soul um <laughs> logan Sargent had a time good enough to get into q2 but it was uh scrubbed off for uh they said it was track limits at turn 27 which is the mm -hmm. last corner but obviously there's two walls there Literally, um cool. but so he yeah. went over the pit entry line on his way to the start finish line which is so unfortunate for him actually actually i had um i had a 
um, a message from someone, which I want to direct to you, man. I'm not going to read it out, but it wasn't directed to to okay. you. But it was um, you are you were so up on Logan Sargent when we were doing our season preview pod. Oh, and no. someone was like, uh, guys, I don't know if you know, but Logan Sargent is actually like really big, like MAGA. And obviously you guys are like bigging him up. And I was like, well, look, I was like, thank you for the feedback as I am with everyone. <laughs> um, but, uh, Mario, why are you supporting the biggest MAGA representative on the grid? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hey, so this is my name is Mario. This was really fun. Thank you for having me, bro. I I I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, look, well, let me let me say this. Let me say this. Let me okay. say this. Let me okay. say this. I told you last race. I told you last mm. race that it was really cool to hear Spanish being spoken in the in the cool down room, yeah. right? Because, but unfortunately. Alonso is there. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm not. I'm, so, so like, am I happy about the representation because I'm sp I'm hearing Spanish spoken yeah. there? Absolutely. Am I am I happy that it's Fernando Alonso that's there speaking it? No. Okay. So, you know, it's to a certain point. Like, if if I feel like if we start talking about the drivers and what they're involved with, and and you know, Lewis Hamilton is a is a great exception to that. But I think. Mm. Also bought us because I think he's dope. Yeah. But I don't know. I think if we start researching these drivers, we start researching and not even the drivers, it's the sponsors. You know, the the Logan is from Florida. <laughs> and 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 Florida and MAGA, that tracks really well. Um, not me though. Not me. <laughs> but um <laughs> I'm sure that at some point sponsors and stuff like that, I'm sure he took money from that. I don't really support that, but at the same time, I, I try to keep it about the sport. But Whoever said that is absolutely right. <laughs> and it is something that people should be aware yeah. of. And I don't support the MAGA stuff, but like, it is true. It is true. He, he did definitely take money from that. It's thing. hard, isn't it? Because you've got, like you say, like representation matters. And with the sport being in a... You blindsided me with this, by the way. I'm sorry. I would not interrupt you, but you blindsided yeah, well, me with this. Well, we didn't go well, over this in the pre-show well, pre pre -show notes. No, none of welcome that. To, no. Welcome to Quicksil Pep 1. I'll tell you, do you think me and Tandy... You, I, honestly, the, <laughs> the prep that I have with, for these podcasts are infinitely more than the ones that I have for me and Tandy. Is I, honestly, I don't know what you expect. So, um, no, I only said that to say, I think that's a really good point. It's something that I, I, we kind of spoke about. We weren't planning on talking about this, but I think this is a good good segue. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think in F1, there can be a lot of grandstanding, right? Based on who you support. So, you know... Uh, we can be, you can say like, I don't like X driver or because of this thing, but we all, we participate in a sport that goes to a lot of countries. I'm not just talking about the Middle East. A lot of countries mm -hmm. where, look, America and like some of the, the stuff that's going on there. It goes to Silverstone. I live in the UK. Let me tell you, this place is fucked they're running back human rights laws they're sending asylum seekers to rwanda they're they've they've taken away the rights to protest there's black people dying at the hands of police all the time like we can't just you can't it's hard or it's hard for people to say i don't like that certain thing without looking like complete hypocrites for saying you know for supporting something else so you know you might say i don't like max verstappen because of like some of the things that he said but then your mm -hmm. your driver your team might have sponsors which are like really like uh, like uh un you just let me let me let me just say you you made it an excellent point because we went from we went from talking about drivers right you you said you addressed uh, or, or the person Ooh. addressed the Logan fandom, mm. you know, the, the, the Maga and Logan. But you just had a great point. Like, if you go even further back and we look at the circuits, mm. we look at where they're held, we look at the human rights violations that are happening, in, you know, in the Middle East. You yeah. Know? And we talk about Silverstone and we talk about, like, even in the U.S., mm. like, the U.S. 
the U.S. has rampant ra racism going on. We have issues with the police. Like, I think it, it's a great point, Yasha. Like, if we start thinking about the courses, like, I think this sport, you know, it, it's it's a coincidence, I think, that this sport is highly touted as a white sport, and it's also really tied with... Mm, not the greatest place no for sure but it's capitalism right like at the end of the day like exactly. money uh, you know i think money is king oh cash is king that's what lewis hammond said when they wanted everyone to race in australia at the height mm -hmm. of covid like you know this sport it will i don't think there's i don't think there's any one driver that I mean, uh, obviously, Lewis. Lewis, Lewis, Hamilton Lewis feels like a Lewis really aside, good exception. Yeah, I, I will Lewis say, aside. I will say, like, I will say, parasocial relationships have been really, like, yeah. uh, put into put into uh, focus yeah. with all this streaming and stuff like that. So, you know, I've, I've, I don't say I'm a fan of people, but I say I'm a fan. For example, I was a fan of your content, but or not was, am. <laughs> but then I've seen I've seen where like I have this thought of this ex person that's like, oh, this person seems like a good person, but you really never know. So it's really tricky to talk about Lewis Hamilton with certainty. We can't really be sure, but from what we know and what we've seen, it seems like he is an exception. Yeah, to and but also you, you know, look, we saw Lewis Hamilton. Uh, we've gone so off piste but this is a really good chat but this is yeah, a good we chat really have. we saw Lewis <laughs> Hamilton on holiday yeah. with like uh who's the weirdo guy um uh he's in Morbius who what's his name right oh, he's Darryl 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 and, Darryl Darryl. You know, I but that's that good. But like oh. you know Diplo as well he's close with and Diplo said all so like mm -hmm. Lewis Hamilton isn't um Lewis Hamilton went to uh, South Africa or other places in Africa and did like I was gonna ask wasn't that kind of sketch what? or kind of it didn't feel I think I think I heard you and Dandy talk about like his trip not feeling well, no, it super was, but it, it was very like stereotypical views of Africa being put forward that they're walking around with no okay. shoes I feel so grateful and it's just like you know no one driver is um no one driver is 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 it morally, morally perfect because we're perfect. all they're all human beings. So yes, we can slate one driver mm -hmm. for one thing, and of course we should bring light to the things that they do that aren't good. Because as an independent platform, we should do that. But at the same time, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And I think we're all in glass houses, and you know, no, no one is perfect. Absolutely. Good chat. I think. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, sure. I'll, last thing I'll say is. Our responsibility, I think, is to be willing to have both conversations. A conversation of Logan did well in Q3, not really, but also Logan yeah. is tied to MAGA. Like, we, if we need to be willing to have both conversations, and I am always going to be willing to have both conversations, so I think that's the best we can do just being fans of this sport because we can go into rabbit holes and yeah. never come out. One million percent. One million stuff. percent. Well, look, speaking of people that yeah. have dodgy pass, <laughs> how about Max Verstappen? Let me pour some more wine out. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I didn't catch that. What what, what, what happened to Verstappen, Yasha? I can't, uh, can't remember. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Max Verstappen, unfortunately, or fortunately, wherever, wherever you sit. For, for the people listening, he said, unfortunately, with a huge mm. smile. Oh, God. The thing is, yeah. How do I describe it? Sometimes, yeah, there's times when... There would have been times when Mercedes were winning and let's say something bad happened to Lewis Hammond. Um, let's say uh, the time, let's say a good example would have been although Max went on to win when him and Nico Rosberg collided in uh, in Spain or, uh, you know, the times when, let's say Monza, when they messed up his pit and then um, Pierre Gasly ended up winning or whatever, like... There was a race. What was the race? Because you you you're like my my go to for this. Um, what was the race? There was a race that Hamilton, I think, didn't get out of. Q that was last year, like this this time last year. Or, but I'm talking like, in Saudi Arabia, exactly. Yeah. So, but I'm talking about when yeah. you're when you're good, and bad stuff happens to you, and then people who support teams which are worse than you make fun of stuff that is bad that happens to you you look down on those people like how are you laughing at us when like you're holding but 
Now I realize that when things are going bad, you have to take pleasure in the smallest places. So cheers. <laughs> So Max Verstappen and Red Bull, he conked out in Q2 with a drive shaft issue. And I guess Mario... Let me ask you a question. Max last year uh, in Belgium, I think after taking an engine penalty, so he had a fresh engine, to be fair. Um, And it was a lot later in the season and the title was obviously going towards Max. But he was able at a power sensitive track like Belgium to come from 14th and win the race he was in first by the 14th 15th lap I want to say that, that yeah, was super was. quick too so right? uh, let me ask you a question give me a prediction okay one do you think yeah. that Max has given that Perez is I don't know what happened to Perez. I mean, how the hell did he... I, 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 I can't remember what happened to Perez last year in the Belgian Grand Prix, but given Perez is starting first this race um, and they have similar cars, but do you think Max Verstappen is going to win this race? Um, does he have a chance of winning the race? Or I guess, how high do you think Max Verstappen can finish given that he qualified in the end in 14th place, I believe? Yeah, 15th place, sorry. I want to say he can't okay. beat Checo. Gut feeling is he can't beat Checo, you know. And we're obviously like, if everything goes yeah. well, you know, obviously if there's if yeah. things happen, things happen. But I, I don't think he can beat Checo just off of optimism and also thinking if Checo has the same car and and you know Checo is slower than Max. I don't. I'm not saying that the numbers say that. Um, even though he's slower, I don't think he's that much slower that he would be. Uh, that Max would be a threat. Um, okay, I'm just gonna answer. I think top, I think fourth is his is his highest possible position. I think fourth. I think he's gonna finish second. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sure. I, th- I think hey, he's gonna finish second. Like, it, it, it's not a it's not a bad honestly, bet to make. I, like, like, I, honestly, now. I think he's gonna finish second. I think. I, look, let me say this now. Yeah. Behind, behind Checo, yeah. Behind Checo? Oh, look. One, yeah. what is going to help him is the chance of a safety car. Although they have made changes to the mm-hmm. track and we've not seen a massive shunt in qualifying in the race. I will mention real quick, F2 sprint. It, 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 the yeah. sprint race, so it's not the same. But the F2 sprint race saw uh, a virtual safety oh, really? car. Okay, and safety uh, car. that's good to know, actually. Yeah, yes. so, yeah. so yeah, even yeah. even with that... Look, as much as I want to clown on Max, and it is glorious that he conked out. Let me <laughs> preface that. That was hilarious. But, <laughs> but, let's be realistic. Max Verstappen has got a vastly superior... Max Verstappen was sticking three or four tenths on Checo in a car which mm-hmm. we exactly. know... They they set up for the race more than qualifying. They've always done that. Look at look, Bahrain. Look Bahrain. Bahrain. So he was he was he like was he was what race. I think it's like ten seconds ahead of Checo by the time that um, uh, Charles um, kind of went out of the race. Yeah, so tired, yeah. or maybe fourteen seconds. So I think. Um, uh, yeah, I, I do think Max is going to come through. If there's, I think there's maybe two, I want to say two DRS points, maybe three. I think it's two DRS points, but there's that long straight with the car that they have. You know, it's it's going to be tight. I think if there's a safety car, it makes his job a lot easier, and there's likely to be a safety car. And the fact that they, and the fact that That's they're going to have. As much pace advantage over everyone else over the course of of you know of the race, I I don't see him finishing anywhere other than top. It's 10. it's hard it's hard look it's hard looking at Bahrain and not saying like he'll get, he's gonna get second. Like mm. it, it's really difficult. It's so really difficult. we'll see. But I guess it'll be it'll be fun to watch him come through the grid, <laughs> come through the field. <laughs> let me let me just say let me just say, and I am not saying that Charles Leclerc is in any way afraid of Max Verstappen, but. Do you think Charles Leclerc is like, dude, just give me a break. Like, I, I was going to be back here. You were supposed to be in front. 
We weren't supposed to be compared. Give me a break. Why Why do you have to come well, back well, here with me? You, you know? know what? It's like... Uh, Mario. The fact that Charlotte Claire is starting 12th and Max Stepp is starting 15th, I think a big factor in this race is going to be and a good study of Red Bull versus uh, Ferrari pace is going to be yeah. how long can Charles Leclerc keep Max Verstappen behind him? And I think, I think that's, a, that's going to be a really big factor in, I guess. That's, that's a big, that's a big plug point for Verstappen. I think the moment that Verstappen gets past Leclerc, let's say that everyone stays where they're supposed to stay and there's no big incidents... After that, you've yeah. got Joe, Hulkenberg, Gasly, Piastri, Hamilton, Ocon, Stroll. And then he... Imagine Pac-Man and all that. Yeah. All those. Like, literally, it's it's not like, looking great. All of those. <laughs> and nothing against them. Nothing against them. It's just, it's just the current no, situation. No, 100%. But the thing is, I think for the good of yeah. the championship, not the championship, but the good of, like, the entertainment of the race, at least we have that subplot now. And I think there's nothing... There's nothing wrong with mm-hmm. that. But- I have, I have like, I don't mind Max at the racer and 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 how he does. And I think that, objectively speaking, I I I see him down there, and I see how qualifying ended up. And qualifying, like, I'm very, I think I'm more interested in the race with him down there than having that one too. Like, I saw the qualifying list, and it's I was tasty. like, this it's is, tasty. This is good." Yeah, it's tasty. Exactly. So so I will say, like, it is nice to not see and, and barring what happened to him, they were going to be one too. Hmm. Like, there's no 100 percent. No, you're not you're not wrong there in the slightest, Mario. So if you look at the other results, we've got obviously uh, Joe Guan Yu out qualifying Valtteri Bottas, which is a great result for Joe. Um Mm-hmm. And Nico Hulkenberg out qualifying Kevin Magnussen again uh, in 10th. You get you 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 said that last podcast, and, and we talked about that Nico replaced Vettel. Uh, you were saying that he's going to have a good week. Yeah, like, uh, Nico replaced. Go. Nico replaced. Vettel oh last yes, he year did. I did say that, barring. didn't I? Yeah, I did. and you said, and you said that Nico was going to have a good weekend. I did, and, and I, I think mostly because I think these two circuits. I think well because you brought it up, right? These he was there last season, so these are two circuits where he's mm-hmm. had like comparative experience. I think it'll be interesting to see if Nico can keep this up at circuits where he's not been to for a while. So what's next after this? It's definitely something to watch. What's next after this? Sure. Australia? Um, yeah. Yeah, um, I believe so. I'm I, think so I think it's Australia. So right. it'll be interesting to see how Nika goes around around Confirmed. Australia. Um, and uh, yeah, like I'm really, really interested to see that. But the fact that he's come in after three years out, I mean, full time. Obviously, he's basically raced in each year that he's been out because of the substitute and COVID stuff. But um, yeah, it's interesting. It will be interesting to see. Um, this is the man who, this is the man who's raced in most races and never got a podium or a win. Yeah, so let's, that let's, is let's true. But brakes. for for yeah. his level, he's at his level right now. And I think he's showing that the reason why that stat is so wild is because he had chances to hit the podium and every time he didn't, it was his fault. It wasn't... And that's... I guess that's... that's However yeah. you look at that, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? But he was always in positions to get the podium. It wasn't like he's just been at the back of the grid for like, you know, all that time. Like, mm-hmm. so, you know, fundamentally... No, that's true. That's true. It's just an unfortunate it's, stat yeah, to be the owner of. Big unfortunate <laughs> stat. Um, so look, Charles Leclerc is going to start 12th after his grid penalty, despite qualifying in second, which is a great result for Ferrari, I guess, uh, looking at their pace. Let, let me ask you, let me ask you, or mm. I don't know if you want to wait, but I think this is a good moment to... Are you surprised at all with Leclerc being second before penalties um, and signs well, being fifth? Do you think that tracks with their... Like, what do you think? What do, do you, you know think what? I'm going to answer that after we stick in some adverts. Here's some adverts. <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> ah. Hey! <laughs> 
welcome to the Quick Sub F1 podcast. Oh, wait, no, no. Welcome to the Quick Sub F1 Patreon. Yay! <laughs> too much? Okay, that was too much. Do you want more hard hitting content? Yeah, when you've got a lion biting yeah. into your shoulder, you, you, you're accepting I'm an antelope. Does that make sense? A Discord channel where you can talk F1 with your friends, pre-sale links to all of our live events, and exclusive merch not available elsewhere. So, just like anything to do with Quick Sub, we have something for everyone. So, click the link, take a look around, and if there's something there that tickles your fancy, feel free to support us and from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate all the support, whether it's in the Patreon, in the YouTube comments, Twitter, anywhere. You guys are so supportive and this will allow us to just go to the next level and be able to invest into the platform to bring you even more sick content. So from Tandy and I, thank you. And remember, keep it on the black stuff. Right. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> great ad, ads. great ad, and that sponsor, the, that sponsor, man. man, you know what? Yeah, they want. <laughs> Let me tell you now, guys. Until someone sponsors us, I'm gonna be sticking in our own adverts <laughs> until we get sponsored. Um, and if you don't want those, just stick on the Patreon. Uh, Two ninety nine. Pounds. I don't know what that is in dollars, like three fifty maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can have an ad free uh, feed without that. So, signs Leclerc second and fifth. I think that's normal. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that's normal. I think I mm-hmm. think Charles is one of the. I think he has the best one lap pace on the grid, bar Hamilton. Um, although we'll get on to that. Um, and yeah. I think Signs on uh, over one lap can't live with Leclerc. I think where Signs excels is that Signs can, um, Signs can uh, get the best out of his car over the course of a season, and he's strong enough to say to the team, "I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that." And pardon me, that's fair, but. Yeah, I just I I think that's normal. I think they they try to give us this narrative that um science is and, and you can tell me what you think. They give this narrative that science is better at the decision making because of what he said. Like last year, they made a whole fuzz of like, which I, I thought it was really funny. He said uh, when Ferrari told them, I think to hold yeah in Silverstone Hamilton behind yeah so yeah Clark could get further. Um, science say science said uh, stop imagining yeah and and the reason I found it funny is because stop imagining is like a bad translation of a very uh. common Spanish uh, like saying like we say we say all the time like they like, had it's just like so he I think he just said it in Spanish in his yeah. mind and said it in English but but the point is like they made a whole fuss about his him being more confident in decision making and being able to go against team orders if he thinks it's right. Do you feed into that narrative or do you think Leclerc is just as good as making his own No, decisions? no, 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 no. Definitely not. Um, like, he... I'm trying to find... The, I don't know if it was Stop Imagining. Was it Stop Imagining? Yeah, it was, okay, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Stop Imagining. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that and just being like, the guys. Um, I know, Stop Inventing. Stop inventing, <laughs> they had inventar. Stop yes. inventing, they had inventar. Yes. 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 Stop inventing. Yeah. Had, I even yeah, said yeah. it in Stop. Spanish and it didn't feel right. Stop but inventing. Inventar. No, yeah. that's fine. Thank no, you, I thank like thank it. You, thank you. Yeah, you no, and I. Because I was person, like, oh, and I, I swear it was something else. And that, that makes so much sense. Yeah. yeah. Stop inventing. Stop inventing. Yeah. yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, I love. Yeah. And I think that's an yeah, incredible yeah. thing we forget about Formula One drivers. Like, English, they all speak English, but a lot of them, it's not their first language at all. Oh, the majority, yeah, because the majority, majority aren't English. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. um, I think Charles Leclerc, if he wants to be a leader of that team, um, 
I think he has to assert himself more. But we'll see this season if that if he gets to do that. At the moment, you know, he's got grip penalties and retirement's coming out of his arse. So I don't know if that's going to be, be possible. <laughs> but someone who is a team leader and didn't have a great day of it is Lewis Hamilton qualifying in the end. Sorry, that's OK. Sorry, qualifying sorry. in the end in seventh. Um, although that went up one place uh, because obviously Leclerc's penalty. Mm. He, yeah, on, originally eight, yeah. He, he qualified eight yeah. before the penalty. And he's qualified the behind team. Esteban Ocon, Lance Stroll in fifth, and Carlos Sainz, obviously, in fourth. And his teammate, George Russell, who had who had the beating of him, let's be fair, all qualifying um, in third. I think about mm-hmm. three and a half tenths, he's, uh, he's behind George. So I guess um, interesting given what's happened in Bahrain and obviously he was able to to jump he out, was out qualified by George in Bahrain but he said that that was because he had a setup that was due to uh prioritizing race pace um this yes. session doesn't look like that um I don't think he would ever think that he would be three and a half tenths off George um I guess quickly on Mercedes do you have any thoughts on, I guess, where Mercedes are and 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 what they're facing tomorrow? So, you, I would never like. I think I think the people want Nash's opinion on Mercedes. The one thing I will say, though, we were talking about this earlier, is the driver pe- press conference. I think I mentioned some comments that were a little surprising by Toto, and don't give me much hope with mercedes not not that they're gonna be terrible but there's a lot of talk on changing the chassis like they, i think they've asked toto if he's gonna change from the w14 to the w15 like 17 times already uh random that once a press conference you know they go through the uh scripted questions yeah. and they go to the media five in a row were yeah. questions for toto of course <laughs> you saw the other guys like and then toto has her bad to bad to bad questions I don't, I, you have more experience, so I want you to really, really tell me a lot. Tell me, how do you feel with DTS, with the, with the press conferences, with the conversations they're having? Is this a new, not a new total, but a different total? Do you feel confident with his, with his, I just see him as so different, but like, I just, he said, last thing I'll say is he said something like he's, uh, and this is pretty, pretty. I say something, but this is pretty close. He he said, "I'm trying to find what Nikki would say." Wow. In moments like this, and that was very shocking to me because while I understand their relationship, I I I, I would have thought Toto is like what Toto says, what Toto wants to say, not like putting himself in other. No. I'm okay. Sorry. Well, first, I was talking to my friend um, about uh, F1 today, and she said. And it's crazy that you said that because I didn't know that you said that, but I, and I think we both didn't know. But it looks like Toto out on his own without Nikki feels lost because Nikki would be some of the things that are coming from Toto's mouth are the same things that Nikki would say. But when, well, because really? Nikki was always brutally honest. Nikki's whole thing gotcha. was that the things that Toto wouldn't say, and so Toto could always just be the politically correct person, Nikki would say. So I'll give you, I mentioned it before, the Spain 2016 incident or Belgium 2016 when they collided. Toto was very like, toe the company line, we'll sort it out between us, this and the other. Nikki was like, this is unacceptable. I think in Belgium, it was like, this is Nico's okay. fault. Like, Nico was, like, Nikki was able okay. to say probably the things that were true, but because he was Nikki Lauda and he had the respect of everyone and he was, that was his personality. Mm-hmm. It was almost like it was welcomed. And I remember saying in 2021, my God, Mercedes missed Nicky Lauda in 2021 because all of the fuckery 
that was going on in 2021, Nikki would not have shied away from saying, this is corruption, this is fucked, the, like, what's going on with Michael Massey, these, these stewarding decisions are fucked. And it was left on Toto. And what we had was this half in, half out. I don't want to say too much. I'm going to tell the company line. We're not going to mm-hmm. appeal this. This and 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 I think he was a little bit lost out there. And that's why when we saw Toto slamming the headphones down, when we saw Toto saying, you know, pointing to the camera, like you know, that was like a different thing for 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 Mercedes fans because that was the first time we saw Toto show emotion. And I think it's interesting that he said that. Because he's now having to balance what he thinks is like absolute accountability and the truth with what I think are comments which are essentially not helping the situation. And, you know, uh, the comments he had... Sorry, uh, yeah, after you. Do, do you... So... This is, this is great information. Yeah. I did not know any of it, so thank you very much. Um, would you consider, from what we were talking about, do you consider Nikki mentored? One hundred percent. But it wasn't even like mentored Toto. So, so, so real, 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 last thing I'll say real quick. So, it makes me think as an outsider that Toto learned how to win with Nikki because they won so much. And maybe never learned how to lose. And I'm not saying that he's a bad loser, but didn't learn how to how to be a team principal during yeah. losing. And and maybe from what you're saying, also it it makes me think that Nikki was a great motivator, passionate motivator, and maybe Toto is good at everything, but maybe not well, motivation. You know, I think as much as I hate to say it, Christian Horner came out and was like way to demotivate your team with the comments that Toto mentioned around. And, oh, um, and I like, and, and the, the thing is, I think you're right, but I don't think it's like just about Nikki. I think it's about Toto in general. This is the first time he's had to go through this, you know, so we're all, anything we see from Toto at the moment is a new version of Toto. So True. I think the comments that he's making, we're not used to seeing Toto speak like this. And in the beginning, when everything was fine, in his mind, he's probably like, I've always been this searingly honest, right? But yeah. now it's a situation where we're looking at a Toto who's having to explain the performance of the team, which is bad. The morale of the drivers, which is... Oh, God. Time is slipping away from me. Yeah. I accidentally pressed that, but that could not have been so apt. <laughs> I, I think you you did that on purpose Honestly, subconsciously. That was like an absolute accident. Man, I am I've I'm such a lightweight. <laughs> so, like, I think I think it's just yeah. yeah. I think we're just seeing a version of Toto. But what I would say is that yes, we're not used to uh, Toto is learning in real time how to crisis manage. Um, but also, B, mm-hmm. I don't think you can understate the effect that Nikki leaving Mercedes has had. Um, yeah. So look. They're saying they're hailing Mr. Saturday again. He's out qualified Lewis uh, for the second race in a row. Um, big up George Russell. That's a really good performance to get. And look, uh, you can't, mm-hmm. you can't hate on it, man. Like uh, we don't know. And uh, um, apologies, unless Lewis has come out and said something very specific. If you could just look that up and just see if there's been any comments from Lewis, but oh, yeah. that's yeah. a really good performance from George to get into third. Um, Fernando Alonso getting into second. It looked like he might be able to get into first, but that never materialized. Lance Stroll was quickest in uh, the first sector. For some reason, the the commentators didn't mention his mistake in Q2, uh, sorry, in the second sector, which very much would have affected his lap. He was sideways during one of the chicanes, and that definitely lost him a bunch of time. So I think he would have qualified... Yeah, real quick on Stroll, he they showed him in 
if not one of the, if not in quality, and one, no, in one of the practices, they showed him he had like a a, a whole ass thing that's used to cool it, mm. a part, a car part. They showed him with it cooling his wrist. I mean, it's crazy. Like we, we, we keep. What is it's he crazy. doing? Like, he's he doing, doing all of this with two broken wrists. Like he's driving uh, the fastest cars in the world with two broken wrists. Like that is. I Honestly, it's it's so it's so commendable, and the fact that whether we like it or not, we're being out qualified by someone who's got two broken wrists in a customer engine is not great. Um, so no, you can say what you want about that, but um, yeah. I guess rounding it off, Esteban Ocon in sixth, Pierre Gasly in ninth. I guess what are your thoughts for tomorrow's race, like? Um, do you have any thoughts on tomorrow's race? You don't have to find the Lewis quotes if you don't want to. It's, it's okay. If you can't find it. No, I, yeah. was, I was just looking over, uh, just making sure. But yeah, the only the one thing I'll say is I found a headline that is from post-qualifying that says he doesn't feel connected with the car. He's not happy. I mean, let's see what happy. happens tomorrow. Which also, which also, imagine having an unhappy Lewis Hamilton hanging over your head being Toto. That must be crazy. Like, that is heavy. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. Um, so what do you yeah. think is going to happen tomorrow? Yeah. What do I think? I think that Checo is going to win. I think that Alonso... Man, this might be Bahrain. Oh what do you reckon? I just, oh, my God. This this might be Bahrain. Yeah, I think it's going to be Checo. I like, I like your argument towards Max. I'm not going to use him just because, like just to do something different. But I will say, I think Checo wins. I think Alonso either second or third. And my, I don't see, do you have any idea? I tried to look this up, but I wasn't able to. Do you have any idea? Do, do, do you have thoughts on Checo and Alonso as starters? Like they're, they're, they're um, start of the race. No, um, I don't think I've, I've seen Checo gain a lot of places off the start. Um, I, um, I, but, I agree with that. But I, don't I will know, but say I think that he true. would have won last year if it wasn't for a safety card that helped Max. So he yeah. got absolutely screwed by, I think it was the mix safety car. So I think he was controlling that race and he would have won. So, you know, he did enough off pole last year to win, were it not for like extraneous circumstances. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was thinking like how how much better can like I was thinking is it possible that Alonso you know we're, obviously the cars are different but is it possible that Alonso is a better starter and to, yeah but even though I think Checo no, wins you're not. I think Checo wins I think Alonso Alonso is going to be second or third and then I guess I'm going to say podium Checo Alonso and da, 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 da. <sighs> Okay. Russell, Russell. I just want Russell. Do you know what? Yeah, want, do you know what my podium is going to be? Out on Sun Russell. It's going to be Checo Give winning, for Stappen second, mm -hmm. and Lewis Hamilton third. Mm -hmm. On brand. If I'm it ain't broke, right don't now, fix it. Okay. <laughs> It's delusion only around here. I don't care. Okay, if you want to go and you want to listen to people that are going to give you stats and statistics, go listen to the Sky Sports F1 podcast. Okay, if you want stats and statistics, go listen to the go listen to I don't know. I don't even like Mr. Apex and them man there. Okay, <laughs> that's not what we're doing here. All I can have is hope. All honest to God, dear, yeah, if I'm not delusional, what do I have with this season? This is depressing as fuck. I'm not enjoying it. All I can take enjoyment from is Max Verstappen and his dry shaft conking out. But that thing is going to be fine tomorrow. So, <laughs> like, 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 do you mean? So, so, all I can... He's still like, got the rocket honestly, tomorrow, you know? Max Verstappen is going to drive past us like oh my god oh do you know in you know in the first and furious yeah where is it han not han no who's the guy in the first one 
I can't remember, but he's fight. He's he's having a race, and he drives past, and the guy puts the the nos on, and then he puts it on too early, and then the the Asian guy is like puts his on. He's like, ah, oh, no, 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 hon. He's like, he's like, uh, no, he's like, uh, too soon, rookie, and he like blasts past him. Yeah, that's yeah. what's gonna happen to us. So let me enjoy today. Let me be delusional. I'm saying Lewis Hamilton. Podium. I don't know what's going to happen to all the cars in front of us, including George. Yes, Maybe there's a safety car situation that helps us out. But you heard it here first. Lewis Hamilton, podium tomorrow. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, uh, definitely. definitely so, okay, look, let's definitely read out a few Lewis. tweets that we've got on here. Um, you know, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to say this one time, yeah. I don't know a single demographic that hates George Russell more than the South African F1 Mercedes fans. They, these men hate What is but about that? Letu says, nothing good has happened to Mercedes since Mr. Saturday joined. He brought the Williams bad judge with him. Look, there is a high correlation with that. Okay, but... Uh, unless George is designing the car. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say there was a lot of complaining about Bottas. Bottas leaves. Now you got a fighter. Now you don't want a fighter. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, uh, do you, like, would you rather, would yeah. you rather have someone I mean, in, look, like, in 20 I'd Bottas drive this car, honestly. Um, like, but look, <laughs> there is, look, correlation doesn't equal causation, but it has gone to shit since he turned yeah, up. Yeah. Um... Anna says, still playing on Max's downfall. Now also playing on Alonso's downfall. I uh, I got a message from someone in the off season, and they were like, <laughs> "Can you not play on Max's downfall anymore? Because it it looks like <laughs> like you've just jinxed us, and I don't want Lewis to go through that again. So <laughs> I've not actually played on Max's downfall, <laughs> just for that person." Um, I do need to know when that tweet got off because, like, if it was recently, they actually hey. cursed Max. It was the before you the just season read. started. So, uh, the, the, yeah, exactly. Oh, never mind. Yeah. If it was yesterday, um, I would be scared. And uh, JJ Loves Leyu, L-E-Y-U, says, is he wrong? And then quote tweets, in the words of my brother who doesn't watch F1 anymore, Oh man, he got out at the right time. Can Mercedes cheat already and stop acting goody two shoes? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I would love to look. The thing is, yeah, this is the thing. Mercedes in a black car, I can I can relate because as a black child in school, when I used to do the same things my white counterparts did, I would get in even more trouble than they did and they would get away from it so yeah. as much as Red Bull might have got away from it if we try that shit that's gonna be like disqualified don't come back in don't wear your earrings like it's just yeah we're, we're not gonna but you know why because if it happens to me I, I just think for for oh I was, I was gonna say I found one good Shoot. thing about Christian Horner one good thing he stands up very confidently next to Rosanna even though he is quite shorter. That is my one nice thing about As a short Christian guy Williams. who but what I'm regularly say is, has um, got with women taller than him, I respect that. <laughs> Carry on, Mario. I respect that. <laughs> That's the only positive I have about him. But I will say, like, Christian Horner wouldn't let Mercedes get away with anything uh, without, you know, oh, flipping the paddock over. And, 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 you know, whether you hate it, whether you love it, his attitude works and i don't know that toto has that kind of no it doesn't weird no attitude. no 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 and that's weird, what Lula, but like uh, that attitude uh, christian said you know i'm always going to stick up for my team and that's what that's what's going to happen okay guys well look that was the quick stop quality review obviously we'll be back on tuesday with the race pre uh, review and look out on the youtube for the new show uh that's going to be on youtube after the race tomorrow yeah sure nyasha a question 
What do the people have to do with this video and every video that Quick Stop oh. F1 puts out? Oh, man, what are you got to do? If you've got this far, do? that means you enjoy the content. So please, please, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're listening on a podcast platform, give us a like. Uh, sorry, give us a five star review on Spotify. Give us a uh, Apple podcast review. I can't describe to you, even though we had no content for two months our podcast listenership has gone up and that's because at the end of last season you guys poured in with your ratings and reviews and that's been able to help us grow and the more we grow the more cool shit we can do so please do that mario any final words I love that. I knew exactly what you said. And, uh, and <laughs> exactly what I said. I promise it was nothing, uh, nothing fine. cancelable. I <laughs> to be fair, you know, I say this is cancelable <laughs> stuff all the time. So, bro, you maybe, I will never, you, you, I can't believe you jumped me with MAGA thing. I think this was like my, my, um, hazing period. Like, uh, like I had, I wasn't part yeah. of it until I got you jumped with like You know, in like, like training MAGA day topics. when like, yeah, Denzel leaves him yeah, in the, the Mexican's uh -huh. house. He's like, ah, oh, you yeah. passed the test. Yeah. You yeah. passed the test. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly you what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, does this maybe uh, Ethan Hawk? No, no, it does. It I'm does. Not, I'm not bad. Um, I'm but not guys, bad. thank you for looking. Uh, looking. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And remember, no matter what life throws at you, keep it on a black stuff. Until next time, take care. Look, mate. If you've got this far, clearly you like what we do. So. Here's a link to subscribe to the Quick Stop F1 family. Give that a click. And here's another link to some more cool on our channel. Sorry, cool, cool stuff, stuff, stuff. And remember, no matter what happens, keep it on the black stuff. Click the stuff. Click the, click the links. Click the, the link, the links. Click the links. There. There, there.